Hi guys, it's me Bronwyn, DIY Bronwyn, 19, no, no, that's my, that's my, uh, uh my email. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yes, I'm blonde. I'm not this blonde, but I am blonde, so. <laughs> Here, pick one. How about this one? Oh yeah, you're supposed to roll it up. <laughs> and no, I'm not saying you don't. Just Trudeau. <laughs> so I'm sure this will get banned. Lord. It's okay, babies. We always have Rumble. <laughs> I'm going to start uh, downloading my library of shit from YouTube down to other uh, media sites. And I just basically wanted to come on today and be like, um, how can they do shit like what they're doing? Like, I feel like Canadian political world right now is crumbling. I mean, I'm worried about our, our Canada, obviously, but I'm, I'm just looking at the way of the world and it just seems to me that uh, they are out to get us. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Like, it... it it just, just seems bizarre. The bridges are out. The food can't come through. Oh, the, the grid might go down. Oh, we might have solar flares. Oh, we might have horrible, horrible hurricanes and thunderstorms and, oh, maybe cloud-seeded fucking hurricanes, maybe. You know, like, maybe they're making this shit. And I only say this because at this point, I mean, what is going on? Trains derail, that's food. Buses can't get through if you got no bridge or, or trucks. Your trucks can't move it. The food can't be brought. I mean, there's there's just ways they're trying to like snip off our civilization and our ability to, to eat and our ability to do anything is going to be limited. And they are doing it on purpose, in my opinion. I don't know why. Other than they want to like, <laughs> like Kamala Harris or Kamala or Kamala, I don't fucking know. I don't even give a shit. How they say, you know, like, um, oh, we're gonna depopulate, blah 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 blah. And they say it just like they just they, they flip it out there in the conversation. They're like, oh yes, well we can depopulate and we can do this and we can do that. Then there's more fresh air for our kids. It's like no bitch. That just means there's less kids <laughs> for your fresh air. And you you know like. Who the fuck, how the fuck are we expected when jobs are going to, to robots, people are laying off people like crazy, the, if they're going to robots and we have no income, how are we supposed to buy and provide for ourselves? Like the, the economy, they're just making it so that there's no way that we can possibly do anything but depend on them. I mean, I'm trying my garden, but I mean, uh, it's... It's not working yet. Like, I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I'm trying. I've got lots of potatoes. Those are easy to grow, by the way. They're amazing. So you just put your little pieces of potato that you feel like are a little rotten from your bag that you get and just stick them in the ground, a little water, wait, and you'd be so surprised. You get those big lush green leaves come out when they start to die back a little bit. You got potatoes under the soil and it's delicious. They really are. They're really, really good. Um, yeah. Oh, God. What was I going to say, too? Like, um, th these people think that we don't know that they're trying to eradicate, like, half the earth uh, in any way that they can. And now dick shit has got us getting coof, jabbed, whatever you want to gall dang call it. I No, they want to fucking jab us with an injection again. They want to fucking put their poison into our veins. <laughs> And you know what? This is probably going to get banned. At, at this point, I'm starting to get like, you motherfuckers, you're getting so big for your britches. Like, you got famous from this, from other people. Like, like Odinsman, is, he barely makes any videos that I've seen any, anywhere, at least on YouTube. And you know what? They just change platforms. They're just like, fine, we're, we're done with you. And guess what? Then one day, that's going to dry shit up for you. Because if your platform isn't 
having great creators on it, then your platform's going to immediately start to fail. And you know what? That's the way it deserves to be. If you guys want to get rich and fat off people and then you want to go, oh, well now you can't say this word and you can't say that word. We don't like it anymore. Mm. And just like the way that Kamala talks to people, they talk to you like you're a kid. If you don't do it the way we want, we won't have any choice but to tax the shit out of you. <laughs> or this one, Mr. Speaker. That's my fucking Freeland. Oi. <laughs> She's a crazy bitch. Like, uh, how do these people think that we're living when the, the amount of money that they use for beauty and, and their shoe budget every year is what we get to live on in a year? And I'm not shitting you. Like, <laughs> I don't know how people are making it. If you don't have fixed, um, fixed rent, you're screwed in Canada. You are fucking screwed. Rents are crazy, like really crazy. And they're not doing anything to make it better. They're, and like, and then they won't call a fucking election. We want him gone. Just like you guys want Biden and Kamala out of the White House over there. And we don't blame you. And I, I know we've got Polyavir or Polyev. I'm, I say it wrong. I'm sorry, Pierre, uh, truly. Um, I really love you. You're awesome. I can't wait to vote for you. But they're just gonna just trying to make it last as long as possible because they're greedy. They're greedy. They want those pensions. Pensions we don't get. Pensions they want 50% out of, I'm sure, by the time, you know, actual people get anything, they're gonna want half of it back in tax. They're doing everything they can to make it as impossible to live and be happy and not be working your ass off and never seeing your children for Canadians. This is not how we were raised. We were raised, yeah, you work hard, but now the kids are like, you know, they're all protesting. Nobody's got jobs. Everybody's acting like, you know, where's this money coming from? Oh, they're just printing it off at the printing press. <laughs> fucking stupid and then you won't be able to buy houses because the inflation will be through the roof it's already through the roof they're talking about a, a, an economic depression never having been seen before on this level since the 20s since the crash in the 20s and then the dust bowl and then nothing grew and you know how can it not be by design at this point and and bridges are toppling over from steamships or whatever not steamships but you know what i mean like from cruise ships or whatever banging into them and then all of a sudden oh oh no food supply there oh better cut off their their gas and then they're like you better drive an electric car who the fuck can afford an electric car can you afford an electric car can you afford the electricity to power your electric car that's another one how much is that going to cost everybody and they're just gonna like just like right now they've manufactured the inflation on things they've made it this way they've designed it this way and i'm getting pissed because nobody seems to see it or care or I don't know what it is like but I'm just getting fed up with it and and I'm getting really really sad at the state of the world when there's like people like Douglas Murray we have to listen to this guy man he's important he's smart and he's he's telling you like it is there is um, people after us they want our position they want where we are they want where we live they want everything that we have and they want us out and our own government is replacing us all don't kid yourself. They do it on purpose for your vote, for the vote, I should say, not your vote anymore, because we're aging out, um, douchebag Trudeau said. We're aging out, and we're just going to start replacing that aging out population. Did you see his fucking ad? Like, how do you, with the balls and the gall and the nerve, say, yeah, we're just going to phase out the fucking people that put you, you motherfucker, in power? You're just going to phase us all out. Huh. Oh, or you're going to sell our homes and put us in senior homes so you can keep half the money from the property that gets sold? You're shysters on such a level. The political thuggery is huge with these motherfuckers. Hey, I coined that phrase too. I don't give a shit what anybody else says. Political thuggery is mine and you are thugs and you know you're thugs and you're doing it every day to us and you don't care. <laughs> like, for a treat to get yourself... Take out. Are you fucking kidding me? 
it's like it's like three times as much money for like a, a bucket of KFC than it ever was. Anything that you choose to do, anything is like three times the amount of money. And they want us to in these 15 minute cities, they want to take all the avenues away from us. So we're trapped and we have to do what they say when they want us to do it. And that's too little dictatory for me. Not a little, a lot of it. I, I'm sick of it. And uh, and I know that there's people that are just that they anger. The, I'm angry, and I'm not like struggling like some people are. I'm not saying that I'm not. I'm just saying like I'm I'm not. I'm not the end of the barrel. Like there's people that are literally starving to death in Canada, and they're fucking shipping money after money over to Ukraine. Let's let's put some money into Canada. Let's buy some more um, big huge. What do you call them? Uh, yeah, water main thingies, you know what I mean? Those big, the things that are breaking, the water mains are breaking. All these huge, big, huge pipes are, are failing. They're old. The infrastructure needs to be replaced. How many fucking millions of dollars does Trudeau have in his back pocket from all these places? The We Charity, the Net Zero Billions, Billions of dollars are missing. Not just a little bit. Billions. Nobody seems to give a shit. They're like, let's have a drag queen story hour. Yay. Go fuck yourselves. And then they said, oh, you don't like the, the drag queen story hours? Oh, you better not protest or we'll throw your ass in jail. Even though you're Canadian and you've never in your life seen somebody have their dick out in front of children in your whole fucking life. Would you ever believe that that would happen? No. And I didn't. I grew up. And 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 I'm I'm just sick of everything. Obviously, you can tell I'm just like, <laughs> but I just can't. We didn't grow up with this kind of mm, in your face kind of like screw you from the government to all the people. Like he's he is hating on us, hating on us. Pierre loves us. He can't get into government because fuck, fuck, won't run, won't do a fucking, what do you call it, uh, a vote. He won't give an election. And what's his name saying? I mean, it, like I said, the reason that they're doing it is because it's all for their finances and be so that they'll be okay in the future when all the food costs 40 times as much as it does now. Like, I'm trying to grow shit, but it's not working. And I paid, like, lots of money in soil and plants and shit. And, okay, not plants, seeds, but I mean... I had one mishap and then my whole garden was ruined in one fell swoop. So like there's, I don't know, like, I just don't understand. I think we should have community gardens. I think we should have stuff like that. I think we really should, but you should not force your wills upon the nations of, of the world. And they are. They're Agenda 21, they're Agenda 25. I mean, they're just ramping it up. They want no red meat. They don't want gas cars. They don't want you to have, you have to pay for fucking rain here. They want rain tax here in Canada. Then they want water tax on top of the sewer and sanitary surcharges that they already charge us for. And then they're, they're gonna want um, carbon taxes on all these things. Carbon tax for water, carbon tax for what? The air we fucking breathe, pretty much. They're gonna have a fart tax too, I bet. Hey, hey, is that what you're gonna do? You fucking motherheads. I cannot even believe. And people are like, why do you swear? I want, cause like, ugh, this is where we live. This is the country we grew up in. And all of a sudden it's like this? No, motherfucker. No, 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 no. Hell to the na, 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 as they say. Mm -mm. And I'm getting fed up with people shitting all over everybody else. Like saying, oh, well, you can't be, you have to be loving. You have to do this. You have to do that. Except if you're me. If you're a Christian, go ahead. Shit the fuck all over me. Oh, and you're white? Oh, shit the fuck all over her. She's white, Christian. Oh, and she's cis too. Oh, motherfuck me. She's got the trifecta of shit going on. I'm sure they'll just call me a Karen and I don't give a shit. Don't give a shit. We grew up in freedom. See what you're going to grow up in. See what your kids will grow up in. If you even can have kids because there's so much microplastics in our universe and in our environment that they're getting it in the Mariana Trench. They're getting it in our, our skin samples, in our hair, in our soil, everywhere. It's, at, it's in Everest. It's below the ocean. It's everywhere. We've polluted the motherfucking planet to no end and now they're going to start worrying about it? They're going to start carbon taxing us? Hey, how about you get the Exxon Valdez to go down there and clean the fucking ocean out where they dro they just dropped millions of liters of oil or gallons and 
I mean, and that's not the only one. How many times have they had disastrous, hazardous waste dumped in the in the freaking ocean, or dumped by mistake because it fell off a boat, or all the other things that happen? They they make these big, huge boats full of like these container ships, and then half of them fall into the sea during the bad weather, and then they're wondering, oh, oh what are these new breeds of bacteria and stuff like that, <laughs> like. <laughs> Uh, and then they're like, oh, oh, and we found one, so now guess what? We have a, a vaccine for you. Didn't you just discover fucking monkeypox or create it, I might say? Because I really, really, really think that they're like in labs together. <laughs> Let's see what happens with them this time. Ooh, look at this guy. He's got marks all over his whole body. We'll tell everybody you're going to get monkeypox. And if you don't get the vaccine, you're going to die. And if you don't, we're going to put you in a, uh, you know, concentration camp or re re-education camp. I mean, Jesus Murphy, didn't they try to put Jordan Peterson, uh, a renowned brain of all time, in uh, into a re-education thing? Are you kidding me? You mother... You, the balls on you are like... Mm, like bigger than elephants, bigger bigger than like this. You have balls as big as all outdoors, man. You got no fucking right to have it. You can't tell us what to do. We're the people of the world. Did you forget that you got put in power by people like us and you can get stripped of your power just as easily, which is why our leader wants to become a dictator so nobody will ever be able to take him out of power. If there's a war right now in Canada, he'll stay in power. That's what he wants. He wants it. That's why he's involved with Ukraine. That's why he's involved in Canada in a fucking war where peacekeepers never in a million years will be ever dream of doing anything but going over to help during peacetime. We didn't go over there as snipers and, and you know, expert, skilled people like that. We, we went over there to help. And now we're over there. Our money's over there. Our government's saying, oh, yeah, we fund blah, blah, blah. Like, are you kidding me? And, and then, like, these countries are just, like, salivating. This, the, Biden's a fucking blithering idiot. Weekend at Bernie's president, and he has been since the beginning. I also came up with that one about four and a half years ago, but whatever. He was a joke even when he was running. I don't know how he got put in power. And then they have the balls. I heard somebody... He was like Joy Reid or somebody like, have you seen Trump? He can't even string together a sentence. I'm thinking, are you fucking retarded? Have you seen any of these debates? No. Biden can't string together a fucking sentence and dipshit Kamala. The significance of the insignificance is significant. What are you talking about? Word salad. Ba -ba, ba -ba. I'm telling you, man, these people are pulling a fast one over it. And they think we're all stupid lemmings and we're just going to fall into line and that's just going to be the way it's going to be. Hello, lovey. My puppy just came in. Yes, my baby. Oh, she's a good girl. Yes, he is. Aw, she is. I don't know if I told you guys. I found a, a baby squirrel and he was hurt. And then I put him in my garden and I covered him up and I put some apples and some walnuts and a big thing of cold water. And I kind of touched him and, you know, put, put water on him and because it was hot the day that I found him, just like a few days back. Now today it's cold. It's fucking cold in August. But I, I, I tried to like nurse him back to health, but I don't know what happened to him. But I think he fell out of a tree and I think he broke his back. And one of the moms said that she, as soon as she saw me holding, oh, she's like, did he break his back? And then as soon as I got him into the garden, I'm like, you know, he's not crawling away. She's probably right. He probably did get a broken back, poor baby. And then I felt like, you know, what am I going to do? And then I was going to bury him. And then I went out and he was gone. And I know he's dead because I checked on him. So, and I, I, I kind of like, I touched him with the blanket, not with my bare hand. And I kind of just to see, and he was like stiff. So he's... He's gone for the world. But anyway, any case, I just wanted to come on and say, oh my God, what the fuck is going on now? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, and I have stopped shopping at Timu. And I'll tell you why. For like a year straight, I've been, you know, a little Amazon here. I mean, I got some, I, I got a, a subscription like, hey you. I mean, I only got a couple things that I can afford. Not a lot. Uh, you know, like, and I have these things, like, and then, 
I, like for instance, like the Timu, I have just a couple things that I really like to get from them and they're like really good prices and I'm afraid to order from them because for the last year, it seems like every single time I have to get a new credit card because all of a sudden, right after I make a purchase, a big amount or something of those same, along those same lines, um, they basically all of a sudden somebody's spending money on my bank card and I don't know how the fuck they get that to work, but then I have to trail myself to the bank and get another bank card and then rechange all my passwords and everything and oh oh just so you know these motherfuckers i think i told you before but if you name a cell phone or a hand like a what do you call it, a throwaway phone and you name it cibc or you name it R rbc or whatever bank then when you call people that's the name that people see and that's a lie and that shouldn't be allowed you should not be able to get a number in a in a, uh, a business's name without that business's permission or express you know usage of that you know what I mean like that, that it just seems like the more they can fake shit the more they will fake shit there's little old ladies who don't have money they need that money all you motherfuckers on the internet on TikTok, leave them alone I tried to catch as many of you as I could I went off TikTok for a while I just I couldn't believe the shit that I was seeing and then the, and then the, the gender bending motherfuckers too with the kids like can you just can you just all stop and then uh, and this one they want to have uterine transplants this one bitch to be a bitch she's still a boy who wants to be a bitch anyway, I know I'm, I'm bad but I call her a bitch because she's a bitch if you're gonna be a woman like this then you're a bitch okay you're a Karen in the making she wants to put a uterus up inside her where it was never ever supposed to be against God and all religions anywhere would you want to fuck with God's creation oh no that's okay that's okay go ahead that's okay it's just God let's mock God like did France do well after they mocked God like oh my god and did you see those poor people throwing up oh my god there was sewage in there in the Seine River oh my fucking god Clean the oceans, clean the sea, clean the water, make jobs for people out of cleaning our environment. You have all this money to sink into wars? Get a grip. Stop funding NASA, stop funding fucking, you know, space wars for nothing. And yeah, maybe there is um, aliens, but they haven't come and got us yet. And you know what? They only seem to be interested when you fucking idiots put nukes into our environment. That's when they seem to want to come around and go, ooh, what's the earthlings doing? And who wouldn't? Well, wouldn't you? If you had a neighbor that was constantly blowing up their house, wouldn't you think, oh, I don't want to live near that guy? Like, just people have lost all sense of common sense. They don't care. There's no love for each other. I love my neighbors, and I really mean that, and I know they love me back. But there's people that are absolutely out to get you. They're out to get you. They, they, if you are, like, for instance, I'm a Christian, I'm white, and I'm cis. Uh, like I said, I... I am their target and you know what oh well I my value is for non-communistic <laughs> um, no religion in politics no Sharia law in our Western countries ever period end of story and they're already in Texas I think it was how is there a Sharia law office or whatever it's in a building I saw a guy he went there and and they were talking all about hey how's it going and you have Sharia law here in, in this um, state now what how the fuck did our governments go from we, we control we can we do stuff to uh, okay we're just gonna let you do whatever the fuck you want like they really do they really just don't care anymore because if they're paid enough money to not care they don't care and that's sad that's sick and it's wrong and you know like what's God think of all these crazy mofos <laughs> I'm trying to save you, motherfucker. <laughs> Remember her? <laughs> oh, my God. I love watching YouTube, and I like watching TikTok memes. Um, oh, my God. I love TikTok. I, I, they love me, too. <laughs> I haven't been on in a long time. I'm trying to get my YouTube going, but I've been kind of sort of... Every now and then, I'm uploading a, YouTube, or a, a TikTok, too. I'm on Instagram. I don't do shit on there, really, technically. But anyways, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I, I pat my dog and, and it looks like I'm good. But I'm <laughs> I'm really not. I'm really not a bobblehead. I don't know how to do my... Hello. I don't know how to do the 
you know, give you a realistic shot of who I is. But here it is. And to all my friends, especially Marina, I love you. I am praying for you. You know who you are. And my friend Rhonda, my sisters and brothers, I miss you. I love you. I think about you guys all the time. My brothers and my dad used to go and shoot rockets every Christmas. And I remember that. That was one of my favorite things, too. That and my mom would always make all of our gorgeous little little presents that she would give us. She would make us little little fairies with like wings, but she would make them out of real feathers and stuff. Like she was, she was just really creative, and she still is. But anyways, and she's still with me, and I'm so lucky, and I'm so I'm grateful, and I'm glad. And you can't go anywhere, mom. You're not allowed. You're not allowed. Like you're not allowed. And uh, yeah, she knows I swear like a truck driver, but she loves me anyway. So does Jesus. <laughs> I know I'm crazy, right? Anyways, oh my god, it's been 25 minutes. I gotta get off. Nobody's got time for this. And nobody got no time for this. Didn't you hear that, man? <laughs> Alright, guys, have a lovely day. Love you, weekend. And I love you. Thank you. Please subscribe. I would love that. Please give me a comment. I would love that too. And don't forget to leave a like. I love my likes. I look. Every day I look. Oh yeah, I had 94. Now I have 93. What happened? Where did you go? <laughs> they left me. Alright, I'm just kidding. Bye. Thank you for everything, guys.